Hey, we're the Interrupters! And we're here with our new friends Sarah and Donnie from The Point. We're at Music Record Shop and we're gonna go get some records. Reg and Ska. This record Has some is going to change your life. It really is. It, this is a nightclub, gangsters, Rudy, a message to you, rat race, man, Those ghost dudes. town. So we come, interrupters, before we come out on stage, we play ghost town, and it's on this. You, you just have to get, you just, this is, I insist that you get that one. Okay. If you were gonna get a Ramones record, mm. are you a fan of the Ramones? I don't know, a lot of times I hear songs and I'm like, oh yeah, I love that song, yeah. I just can't remember you know, who like, it was. I wanna be sedated. Song. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, and yep. like Blitzkrieg Bop. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is their second record, and it's really good. In eighth grade, um, I went to a Catholic school. I had to walk from my school to my, my parents' office. And in between the school and the office was a reggae uh, record store. Like, a mo it was a record store, mostly just reggae. Mm -hmm. From school until then. That most of my time was spent at that record shop. Wow. So yeah. I mean that's kind of where it started. Yeah. Like, and the owner much. of that record shop was like, check this out. It's called Incense. And you burn it like and I was like, cool. <laughs> check this out. It's kind of like incense, <laughs> but it makes it feel fun. <laughs> and then he was like, check this out. He's like, you're really gonna like this. Cause I was like, I really like Nirvana. And he was like, if you like Nirvana, you're really gonna like this. And he put on bad brains. And I was like, this slaps. <laughs> we all know that. Oh yeah. You know. I'm getting all of these records. I'm getting this record. You should crush me. Yes. I'm getting this record. I'm getting this record. Okay, so we're going. I definitely. <laughs> these records are hard to find. Do you like Leonard Cohen? I don't know much about Leonard Cohen other than the pump up the volume songs, to be very honest with you. He is an incredible songwriter. He's a huge inspiration. The, my dream would be to just write one song as good as the Leonard Cohen song. He's just the best songwriter. And you, and, I mean, and, and you hold, but so like then, but then how do you rank your own like songwriting when you're ranking it up against some of your favorites and arguably some of the greatest people that have ever written a song ever? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, well like, Kevin and I were talking the other day, listening to Bruce Springsteen. I mean, his lyrics are out of this world. You paint a picture, yeah. like you don't even sure, need- He puts you there. He yes. puts you yeah. there. Yeah. Taste, touch, smell, sound. You just, you're in the, the 3D experience of wherever he's taking you. Yeah. And that's really like, and Leonard Cohen does that. And I'll never, I don't think I'll ever, I'll ever achieve that level, but like I will always, I I'm very I'm perfectionist. I'm sure. always gonna keep trying and trying and trying to to p put you there, put you in the place. Well, because that's the best, and you yeah. know the ones that can do that yeah. are are are. I mean, it's not. I don't want to say few and far between, but it's just like those are the best of the best. Uh, everybody, we've had a pretty good time. Incredible. So thanks to the interrupters. You guys have been amazing. Thank you, and thank you. Uh, no problem, Sarah. Did you have a good time? Absolutely. I, I would assume that you have uh, increased your vinyl collection size. I have. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Very good. And thanks to Music Record Shop. They're always so great. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Had a great time. Yeah.